Bastila? Is that you? Lord Malak, the preparations are nearly complete. Every day the Star Forge adds more ships to our fleet. It is operating at nearly 300% of our projections. The fleet is assembling around the Star Forge and awaits your instructions. Patience, Commander. My new apprentice is nearly ready. Once Bastula joins her battle meditation to our enormous fleet, we shall be invincible. Then we shall begin our final conquest of the Core Worlds, and the Republic will be crushed forever. As you wish, Lord Malak. So this is that temple. Brace ourselves. What the? Take that. <laughs> okay. This is going to take a while. Safe acolyte. Uh, that's right. What? You wanna talk to me? Who dares intrude on our meditations? You know the penalty for... Riven, you are back. Um... Yeah. Malak told us what happened to you. The Jedi Council has stripped you of your power. You are a shell of what you once were. You are not fit to rule the Sith anymore, Revan. Darth Malak will reward us greatly for destroying you. Oh well. You're so crazy. <laughs> you think I didn't go along? This one. Who are Reven, you? Lord Malak told us you still lived. At last, a challenge worthy of my skills. I grow so bored with slaughtering these mindless training droids. I intensified my training tenfold in hopes I would get the chance to face you in mortal combat. I am glad to see my training has not been in vain. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> what the? Come on, free yourselves already. What the? Come on, stop choking me already. You failed. <laughs> nice. Open this. Go to sleep. <laughs> so many stuff here. <laughs> Can't believe this. Nice. Repair dro droid. Reactivate. No, no, no. I don't want to do that. Actually, 
Let's actually try this. Let's see about this. I had enough parts, so... Serum. <laughs> Will it go on or what? Oh, before we enter that, we need to investigate all other areas. <laughs> Dark Jedi, again? What do you have to say? Reverend. Darth Malak warned me you might return. Looks like the Dark Lord was right. <laughs> you don't even remember me, do you, Revan? The Jedi Council really did deceive you, didn't they? I was one of the first who joined your cause. I'm surprised the Jedi Council let you live after all you did. But I won't make that same mistake. My pets will make short work of you. Okay. Yes. You're not so tough, huh? What? Dark Jedi Night Rope, of course. Now I have plenty of them. Computer? Cool. I have a lot of computer spikes. No, thank you. Hmm. I've been there. I've been there. Been there. Did that? And do that. There we go. Nice. Let's see if we have checked this room. Please don't hurt me. I'm injured and unarmed. I can't even get out of this bed. Where are you? I'm just one of the Sith apprentices. Nobody important. I was injured when my master sent me and two other apprentices out to investigate a ship that crashed here recently. We didn't find the ship, but we stumbled across one of those Rancors. 
It wasn't even full grown, but it took all three of us to bring it down. None of us escaped unscathed, but I got the worst of it. The beast snapped my spine in the battle. I can't even walk anymore. You think I'm gonna tell you all the Sith secrets just because I'm crippled? You won't get anything out of me. You think you scare me? I've seen the torture my master uses on spies. You couldn't do anything worse than that. Why don't you just leave me alone? No. Please, have mercy. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. Just don't hurt me, please. Haven't I suffered enough as it is? I don't know much about the Starforge, but I hear it has something to do with this temple. Maybe there might be information on it in the library down on the lower level. Okay. I... I don't know. I swear. I'm just an apprentice. Why would they tell me anything like that? I... I don't know. I... You don't know? You don't know? Okay, how about this? I have a broken back, remember? I can't walk. But if you want, you could up my culto dosage. That'll knock me cold for at least six hours. You don't have to hurt me or anything. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you very much. There we go. Hello. Hello. Nice. Come on, give me a break already. I'm awesome, you're not. Deal with it. Just in that room. Oh, you're all disabled. Can I move? I cannot move. Ah, who gives a crap? Not this again. Yeah, Bastila of us tortured here. Oh, here you are. Walking aimlessly. Let's enter the catacombs. For the order! Oh yeah. That <laughs> Data pad. I need to walk in the right pattern? Boy. Yeah, stay here. Don't cause any accident. Then I do this. Then I do this. This, this, this. Nice. Ho -ho. 
Okay. Let's get down to business. What? Rondi ha donga ku honga vi, wala kumbes, cheng pala moli ton king ba no konke. Tuk ni ta chokun, ne moli da bes, ton hai wam ji ta kon jos ka mi kira rumu. Anawe. Ka chi chu ita ha donga. Ton pa de bon wa ya gando de nago chocho. Moga Japon. Ka chi chu ton hai ta kon jos. Ta kon jos ta mi kira rumu. Ka chi chu ita ha donga. Tolpa de bon gua ya gando de nago chocho. Moga Japon ka, bola wala chepne. Ba muli tong hai guam chiji yuma lipta ad inko tu. Tolpa da bon gua ya gando de nago chocho. Ka chicho ita au donga. Yukta kon jos tak miki grabl mogo. Ka chicho ita au donga. Tolpa de bon gua ya gando de nago chocho. Moga Japon ka, bola wala chepne. Ba muli tong hai guam chiji yuma lipta ad inko tu. Tolpa da bon gua ya gando. Ta kon jos tak miki grabl mogo. Ka chicho ita au donga. Tolpa de bon gua ya gando de nago chocho. Moga Japon ka, bola wala chepne. Ba muli slimo por ala wanga kumbis mole rabes. Ton hai guam chiji yuma lipta ad inko tu. Tolpa da bon gua ya gando de nago chocho. Ka chicho ita ta kon jos tak miki grabl mogo. Ka chicho ita au donga. Tolpa de bon gua ya gando de nago chocho. Moga Japon ka, bola wala chek ton hai guam chiji yuma lipta ad inko tu. Tolpa da bon gua ya gando de nago chocho. Ka chicho ita au donga. Yuma lipta inko tu. Jelo moran beni bobo. Wango kum. Ta kon jos tak miki grabl mogo. Ok. Ton hai guam chiji yuma lipta ad inko tu. Tolpa da bon gua ya gando de naga chocho. Ka chicho ita au donga. Yuma lipta inko tu. Jelo moran beni bobo. Wango kum bis kanba. Molera ta kon jos tak miki grabl mogo. Ka chicho ita au donga. Tolpa da bon gua ya gando de nago chocho. Moga Japon ka bola wala chekne. Pa mo... Ton hai guam chiji yuma lipta ad inko tu. Tolpa da bon gua ya gando de naga chocho. Ka chicho ita au donga. Ta kon jos tak miki grabl mogo. Ka chicho ita au donga. Tolpa da bon gua ya gando de nago chocho. Ton hai guam chiji yuma lipta ad inko tu. Tolpa da bon gua ya gando de naga chocho. Ka chicho ita au donga. Wait a second. I need to use this serum for some reason. We are slowing dying or something. Yes. I don't know what it is. We'll be right back. Okay. Let's continue. Yin gin kung no ba mole na chico. Ta kung jos ta. Yeah, about that infinite empire. Rondi ha donga ku honga vi. Wala kung bes. Cheng pala mole tong king ba no kong king. Tuk ning ta chokun, ne mole da bes, ton hai guam chiji yuma lipta ad inko tu. Tolpa da bon gua ya gando de naga chocho, ka chicho ita au donga. Yuma lipta inko tu, jelo moran beni bobo. Wango kum bis kang ba, ta kon jos tak miki grabl mogo. Ka chicho ita au donga, tolpa da bon gua ya gando de naga chocho. Moga Japon ka, bola wala chekne. Ba muli slimo por ala wanga, Ton hai guam chiji yuma lipta ad inko tu. Tolpa da bon gua ya gando de naga chocho. Ka chicho ita au donga. Yuma lipta inko tu ta kon jos tak miki grabl mogo. Ka chicho ita au donga. Tolpa da bon gua ya gando de nago chocho. Moga Japon ka bola wala chekne. Ka chicho ita au donga. Yin kin kuno ba bulira chikon. Slimo putona. Ronde au donga ku honga bi. Ton hai guam chiji yuma lipta ad inko tu. Tolpa da bon gua ya gando de naga chocho. Ka chicho ita au donga. Yuma lipta inko tu. Jelo moran beni bobo. Wango kumbis kang ba. Mora. 
Okay. We need to heal once again. Okay. Kachicho itaho tonga. Yin king kuno ba bulira chikun. Slimo putona. Ronde ao donga kuonga bi. Don't have one chiti you are lipta at inko tu. Topa da bongualia gando de nara chocho. Kachicho ita ao donga. You are lita inko tu. Jelo moral beni bobo. Wango kumbis kamba. Molera. Ta kum jostak miki grablo mogo. Kachicho ita ao donga. Topa da bongualia gando de nago chocho. Moga japonka. Bola wala chekne. Rondi ao donga ku honga bi. Wala kumbes, cheng pala muli tong king ba no kong kek. Tuk ling ta chokun, ne muli da bes. Ok. Ka chicho ita. Ui ita na ben. Ok. Yin king kuk ta kong. Just one more thing. Yeah, that's it. Ui. Oh, I'm not losing anymore? Oh, it must be some bad air in there. Oh well. Okay, let's open this. <laughs> let's go up. Ah, finally some comic music. Bastila? Is that you? Yeah, it is. Revan, I knew you'd come for me. Malak thought you might be afraid to enter the temple again. But he doesn't know you like I do. Not anymore. Not since you've changed. Quickly. Bastila, come with us. We have to escape before Malak arrives. Escape? You don't understand. I have sworn allegiance to Lord Malak and the Sith. I am no longer a pawn of the Jedi Council. Surely you know what I mean, Revan. Look at what the Council did to you. They turned you into their puppet. The same thing they do to all who are truly strong in the Force. They speak of the Dark Side as if it is something to be feared. But in reality, their only goal is to manipulate those who are strong in the Force. The fear of the Dark Side is a tool to maintain control. Why do you think the Jedi forbid you and Malak from joining the Mandalorian Wars? They knew you would realize your true potential and break free of their domination. Malak has shown me how the Jedi Council have been using me the same way they once tried to use you. They've been holding me back because they knew one day I would surpass them all. resisted at first. I endured the Sith torments with the passionless serenity of a true Jedi, emptying my mind. But after a week of endless tortures, I finally saw the truth. Malak forced me to acknowledge my anger and pain. He showed me the liberating power of these emotions. Then he made me see how the Jedi Council has denied me what is mine by right. The Jedi Council gladly used my battle meditation in their wars, but they still treated me like a child, like an inferior. They were jealous of my power of what I could become. They wanted me to bow and call them master and follow their code and obey their every order. But all the while, they were exploiting my battle meditation for their own use. Lies. You were the one living a lie, Revan. The Jedi Council made you into something you were not. They programmed you to be their slave. You used to be Revan, master of the Sith, but no longer. You were simply a pawn of the Jedi Council in the Republic they serve. I was, until Malak freed me from their shackles. A pity the power you once had is so diluted in you. You could have been as strong as I am now. Stronger even, but that will never happen now. With the power of the Starforge, Malak will destroy the Republic and conquer the galaxy. And I will be the apprentice at his side, after I prove my worth by killing you. Don't do this. So be it! What the? Hmm. 
you were stronger than I would have thought possible after what the Jedi Council did to you. Seems that Malik was wrong. The power of the dark side is not lost to you after all, Revan. You can deny what you are, Revan, but you're only fooling yourself. I know the truth. I have seen the shadows inside your mind, remember? I was there when you nearly died in the trap set by the Jedi Council. I used the Force to preserve your life, Revan. We are forever linked by my actions on that bridge. These are not your true feelings, Revan. You are speaking as a tool of the Jedi Council, as I once did. But now I see how the Jedi used us both. The Council tried to exploit the bond between us. They hoped I would draw out your memories to lead them to the Star Forge. We were slaves to their will, like all who follow the Jedi Code, but in our shared visions of the star maps, I also felt the so-called taint within you. I resisted it at first, but now I embrace the power of the dark side. Your dark side. You deserve to be the true master of the Sith, not Malak. I see this now. Together we can destroy your old apprentice. Join with me and reclaim your lost identity. Your mind was too badly damaged to ever fully restore your memories, Revan. But your power, your strength of will, the essence of who and what you are, these things still remain. Once, long ago, you defied the Jedi Council, freeing yourself from their control. You claimed your rightful title of Dark Lord of the Sith. Together we can defeat Malak and take back what is yours. Bastila, it is not too late for you to be saved. The teachings of the Jedi can lead you from the dark side, back into the light, and the true understanding of the Force. You are beneath my contempt, Juhani. When you felt the power of the dark side, you fled to a cave like some cowering animal. You know nothing of the Force or its true potential. But you, Revan, the power of the dark side is yours to command. You can use it to destroy Malak. With my help, you could rule over the entire galaxy. You were a pathetic fool, Revan. Together we could have defeated Malak and ruled over an empire. But now, I will be at Lord Malak's side instead. You will be crushed with the Republic and all the fools who bow down to the Jedi Council. No one can stand against the power of the Star Forge and the Sith fleet. guys we'll bring Basila back to the light <laughs> everybody holding lightsabers like <laughs> okay let's disable the disruptor field and temple energy shield We need to go back to the ship. Okay. Hello, guys. You're back. But where's Bastila? Is she alive? What happened inside that temple? Dark side? Bastila? No! No! How could that happen? She was always in danger of being seduced by the dark side, Karth. Bastila was strong, but she was always impatient and headstrong. Malak preyed upon her weakness. This planet is a tainted place. The Star Forge and the Temple have twisted the Force into an instrument of evil, just as Malak has twisted Bastila into a servant of the Sith. Then we all choose our own path. But keep in mind the role that you played in her downfall. You and the task assigned to her by the Jedi Council. Remember the bond that was forged between you and she rekindled the spark that was your life. 
Through that bond, she touched your memories, and also the echo of the dark taint within you. But there's still hope for her, right? I mean, Revan rejected the dark side, so Basila could too, right? We still might be able to save her. I don't know what the fate awaits us, but I sense Bastila still has a role to play in the events to come. I have no doubt she will be waiting for us on the Starforge. No doubt. But let's go then before she has time to organize a bigger welcoming committee. Hey, Jolene, do you have anything more to say? Got something on your mind, do you? Are we back to that again? Hmm, what's the best way for me to approach this? Ah, uh, perhaps it's time for a little story. You just keep quiet there, you. I've had to put up with all your busybody questions, haven't I? Now you listen to a story, damn it! <clears throat> now where was I? <laughs> oh yes, the story. You almost made me forget about it. Nice try, but I'm not that old just yet. <laughs> now then, a young man sees a terribly venomous snake in his small village. Nervous, he watches the snake carefully until it leaves. The young man follows the snake into the forest. He clears the branches out of its path and helps it over obstacles. He even works to keep it fed. Shush! Many nights pass, and still the young man continues to follow the snake. He even follows it into the sands of the great desert. In the desert, the snake eventually grows hungry. It turns and bites the young man, its poison quickly working its way into his system. Finally, curious, the snake looks at the boy as he lays dying and asks, Why were you foolish enough to follow me all the way out into the desert? The boy looks back and replies, Did I follow you? I thought I was leading you away from everyone else. And then he died. Well, now, that's what I wanted to see for myself. <laughs> I've told you before that you have a destiny before you. This does not mean, however, that your future is already written. They are not the same thing. You have the choice of which direction you take your destiny in. More than engine sucking Andor, certainly. But even he had a choice. So far, you've chosen to take the lighter path. Can you stay that course, even through the challenges ahead? We'll have to wait and see. I'm not here to judge you or tell you which path to take. I'm here ready to offer you my help, should you ask for it. I do that because I think it's important. More important than remaining in my home and pretending the galaxy doesn't exist. That's why I'm here. <laughs> I'm rather glad I came too, really. You're a fine young lad. I hope... I hope things turn out well for you. Now then, I've chatted enough for one lifetime. Let's get this show on the road, shall we? Nice. Finally. Okay, guys, that's it for today's episode. Next one will be the final episode of our journey. I'm so excited for it. I can't believe I have actually reached this point. <sighs> I don't know what to tell you other than thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share. And I'm gonna see you in the next video. Until then, be the very best version of yourself.